I'm generally not one to mess with the default settings of the sharpening, but when it comes to bevel weight and the reasons that we use it, the easiest way to mess with this is to add a bevel to the mesh. Right now we're adding a bevel that's currently using angle as it specifies down here at the bottom. But if we were to press L, we can change this limit method to weight. And so right now you can't see any influence on the mesh. And that's because we currently have nothing actually marked with weighted edges. The quickest way to get some weighted marked edges or some bevel weighted edges is to just mark it with sharpen. And so now we actually have these edges that are marked with bevel weights. And the benefit of working with the bevel weighted workflow is that we can now select this edge and in edit mode, we can go to something like operations and adjust bevel weight to actually lower the bevel weight of a particular edge if you're trying to actually lower the weight in a specific area on the same level of a bevel. This of course uh, does go against the multi-bevel workflow quite a bit and we see that there can be some issues with edges meeting in a converging area whenever you work this way which is kind of a limitation of using bevel weight mitigation in general. So this is something that is that we've worked on kind of moving away from as time goes on to handle things in a more quarantine fashion because there are definitely some limits to this particular workflow but it also does offer the added benefit of us being able to specifically mark and unmark an area in order to bevel it as we choose for example i can just select this whole face unmark it and it's no longer able to be beveled same with this side it will no longer be beveled but if i wanted to update that information all i would need to do is just run another s sharp on the mesh so this workflow does harken back to some of the classic ways of how we used to use hard ops where if we were to shift a at a cube and then perform a difference we see that it cuts in and it doesn't actually get put on the bevel level it does if we look at the modifier stack you know, the bevel is still on top, but because it's weight, these edges aren't actually being marked as weight, so they're not inheriting that information. Just to demonstrate that in action, we'll select this bull shape. And you might notice that with bull shapes, sharpen isn't listed as the first option, and that's because it isn't normally reserved for bull shapes. So we'll just use operation sharpen to mark this, and notice that by marking it, we now have passed this information onto the main target. So we can actually select all these edges and press something like Q, go under operators and then adjust the bevel weight of this via the bull shape and actually affect the bevel width of what's happening on the target itself. So it is an interesting way to work and does offer its own benefits and drawbacks. But there is a reason that we deal with bevel weights through sharpen as well. And it's mainly because that's the way that it's always been. But it is something you are able to toggle off and on depending on your workflow. But when it comes to applying subdivision and continuing to keep your data even across subdivision levels, that's where sometimes having a bevel weight as a backup to prevent yourself from losing other data that could be lost like a sharp or, or a crease comes in handy.